Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I know some of you are greying your hair and avoiding the kitchen scissors, which I think is a great choice. And it's a good time to let your hair grow. And uh, cause you can see if you're gonna like it or if you, um, you wanna try different styles. So anyway, um, let's talk about the health of your hair and a few simple tips. For instance, I find when I grow my hair, as you can see, it's gone, it's gone quite long, a bit crazy. I always find these bits around the ears can get a little bit unneed. So first thing I'm gonna show you is just how to, to clean them up a little bit. So firstly, what you need to do is make sure your hair's not in the way, otherwise you're gonna have a, a bit of an accident, which we don't want. So if you just put your, either your thumb round over your ear, or you just use your whole hand, which I find a bit easier, and as you can see, the hair's out of the way. And then if you just get a comb, and you can just comb all this down, you can see mine's still pretty clean from when I've done it before. Uh, so it's not too bad, but there's a few little bits there that I do just want to clean up. So get your trimmer and just use the corner and just slowly tap around the ear. And it can be a little bit fiddly, like even for me, because I'm doing it on myself. And then there you go, you can see that's a bit cleaner now and a little bit fresher. Uh, what makes a difference as well, I think, um, if your hair's getting quite long and a bit messy is just taking the beard down a little bit shorter because sometimes I think when my beard gets a bit longer as well as my hair I feel a bit like a caveman and that ain't always a great feeling so definitely take the beard down a little bit shorter uh, I did mine about a week ago now so probably drew another little little trim down but even with this length I don't think it is too bad so tip two is uh, don't overwash your hair. I think a lot of people tend to do that, especially when a hair gets a bit longer, you know, they're, they're worried they always getting greasy, doesn't feel right. If you're overwashing your hair, actually most of the time your hair's gonna get greasier because your body's gonna produce those oils that your hair's lacking. So the best thing you can do is just rinse it through a bit of water and wash it about, you know, uh, twice or three times a week max, or go even longer if you want to, if you feel like you feel those benefits. Um, if you're finding that your hair's a bit dry and your scalp's a bit dry, just make sure you're using conditioner or a leave-in uh, conditioner in your hair. Uh, these are the, the shampoos and conditioners I use. Uh, this is uh, Faith in Nature. What's great about these shampoos is they don't use sulfates or parabens. So what they tend to do, again, it's talking about, you know, uh, when I was talking about stripping your hair, that's what will strip your hair, those kind of shampoos that have those ingredients in them. So. I would stay um, away from those shampoos and conditioners if you can, even if your hair's short really, and you'll notice a big difference. And tip three is um, a homemade mask. Um, it's something that I've kind of got into recently, where my hair's curly, it's very prone to, to getting frizzy. Um, it can really help just condition your hair, and again, help with like any dry scalp conditions. So the first thing we need is a pot and, and a spoon, obviously, to put your bits and body into. Right, so you're gonna need some coconut oil. <laughs> Preferably not thrown at you like that. And I'm gonna use a teaspoon amount or two teaspoons amount of this stuff actually. So there you go, you can, you can see that there. So it's a nice little amount, I'll put that in the pot. Need some castor oil as well. There you go, that's well. Didn't hurt me that one. And we're gonna, I normally put about a lid amount of this stuff in there and if you research all these ingredients you know that they've been used for a long time castor oil was used by the egyptians back in the day as well so there's a bit of history of all this stuff i won't get into that video all day and also you're going to need some tea tree oil as well Go. this stuff is quite strong so really only going to need about 10 drops one two three four five six ten it's about ten and then you're just gonna give it a little stir and then you've got yourself a hair mask I'll just save that for myself for later. Leave it on for about an hour. If you want it on a bit longer than that, because you want to get the full benefits, then leave it overnight. Just put a towel over your pillow so you don't end up with a really greasy pillow. It's not very nice. And tip four, um, how to achieve style looks in a natural way. So firstly, I'm going to show you this guy here. So he has a wet look pushed back and this is created with either a pomade or salt spray. First thing you wanna do is just wet through the hair with your hands. Even after you've just washed your hair, you can towel dry it. Just make sure it's not dripping wet and put a little bit of pomade in your hair or separate to that, put a little bit of salt spray and then just let it dry naturally. It's a really easy look. Probably one of the looks I think most people are gonna to go to when they just get fed up with their hair and just wanna push it back. The second look I wanna show you um, is this guy here. 
So you can see this looks a bit more wild, which I quite like actually. And I think for, for most of you, sometimes that's probably the easiest look just to go for. And, and to be honest, sometimes it can't be helped as well because it, you know your hair tends to get a bit big like mine. So to help with that and to help with frizz, you want to use um, like a hair cream. In, in my hair, I'll, I'll probably use double the amount, but I'll show you the amount you need for that style as your hair is growing out. You know, it, it can really, to be honest, I normally start with about that much. And if I need a bit more, I can always add a little bit more into my hair. And the third look I want to show you um, is this guy here. And where I'm going with this is, for me, that would probably be like, maybe like a skin fade grown out, maybe like um, a buzz cut, something like that. And, I, and probably a lot of people are kind of getting to this sort of, this length now. So for this style, again, you can do like a wet look with it, maybe salt spray. I will probably recommend uh, maybe like a clay, it would be quite good. And again, you know, just add a little bit at a time, just to see, see how much you actually need. So start off with maybe like a, a pea size amount, emulsify it in your hands, work it through, and you can always double up if you need to. And the last look I wanna show you um, is this uh, gentleman here. And this style, I suppose, looks a bit more styled, but it's still got that natural vibe to it. I wanna try and uh, show you guys that you can achieve at home very easily. So this style, uh, for me, probably gonna be like a grown out undercut, which some of you probably have by now. And I know you're like tempted to get the sides down because they're probably getting a bit fluffy and stuff, but if you use maybe a little bit of clay or maybe a bit of salt spray, you might be able to sort of brush them back and keep them a little bit calmer um, and separate from the, obviously the longer length on top. And if you wanna you know, mess about with the top a little bit, again, you can scrunch with a towel and salt spray. And if you want to, maybe use a hairdryer if you've got one on hand. Uh, well, I hope this helps um, everyone and this gives you some inspiration for some hair goals. And please tag me on any goals you've had in your hair and styling, it'd be great to see them. Great to see how your hair is getting on with the length and stuff and I'll be looking forward to cutting there. If you have any questions, any advice, any tips or anything, I've had a few people already dropping me messages. Um, but please, anyone else that wants to ask questions, uh, please do get in touch. I miss you all and I'll see you soon. See you later.